Oh. That should be recording. So as you can see, we're all ready for the off. Just doing a bit of commentary, Nev. Sorry? I'm just doing a bit of commentary on my new camera. Right. Got my microphone inside my helmet. So I'm talking to that and filming you at the same time. This is Nev. He's, uh, he's claiming disability living allowance. <laughs> if anybody's interested. <laughs> no, he's alright, Nev. Eh? Telling, them all Telling them all your secrets, yeah. Right, so we're all saddling up and we're ready for the off. John's ready. Okay, better get ready and go. We're off to the Euro Tunnel. We're off to the Euro Tunnel. I've been winding the guys up a bit. I think they're getting fed up with me already. Bless them. I'm actually going to be on my best behaviour. I'm not going to wind anybody up. <coughs> so, we are going off to the Euro Tunnel. Uh, we're leaving at 10 to 10. And we're having uh, four days, five days over there, I think, four or five days in France. And it should be really, really good. Because these lads are a good, they're a good set of lads, these nice people. So, happy days. Happy days, people. Happy days. Most of these uh, these bikers, at one time or another, have had uh, the Honda Deville motorbike. I've had one of those myself. But, uh, they're a really good bike, brilliant bike them. But uh, as time passes, people get different bikes. And uh, quite a few of them are on other bikes now. Pan-Europeans, we've got a couple of BMWs here. We've got, I think we've got three Devils with us, so that's good. <coughs> Happy days. Sun shining. This is the part of the journey where you start checking everything. Have I got my passport? Have I got my wallet? Have I got my booking, uh, my booking reference when I get to the Euro Tunnel? Because uh, you have to put your reference into a machine. You go through a massive barrier. It's all self-service type thing. So this is the time when you're uh, you're thinking, Have I got this? Have I got that? What if I've lost it? What if I haven't got this? You know. But all well, all being well, we'll all be all right. I'm 99% certain that I've got everything. So should be good. Just try and enjoy it and relax now. These, uh, these, this group of people I'm with, they're all sensible people. You know, they're all decent riders. There's no idiots. So I mean, they'll make good progress, but they'll not be, they'll not be doing anything stupid. So that's uh, that's the main thing. But you, uh, you don't want to be with a group of riders who. Uh, acting like idiots. 
can already see that we've uh, we've set up in a staggered formation. Nice and steady. Here we go, coming off. Channel tunnel. <laughs> this chap in front, that's John. He's the guy that's organised it all. Uh, and he, uh, what he'll do is, if he does what he did last year, he'll have already done all his uh, homework, and he, uh, he prints a lot of documentation off. So when we get to places that have, uh, are of interest, he uh, he describes everything in in. Uh, in really interesting detail and he has um, sometimes he brings with him uh, laminated uh, A4 sheets which you can look at which uh, is really good <coughs> so yeah uh, he knows a lot a lot of stuff that your normal person wouldn't even uh, think it think think about knowing so it, it's really it's quite interesting you know it puts a lot of puts a lot of work into it so should be really good so anyway right we're now entering the uh, euro tunnel coming up towards uh, the uh, check-in booth check-in booths just follow John I think self-check-in I hate this part of it because this is where you've got to So um, you've got to check yourself through. Yeah, you've got to. Right? Sorry. What for? I think so. I don't know. Have we all got the same one? Have we all got the same one? Hang on. Boom. Have you done it? Didn't mean to do that. Carry on. <laughs> That was fun. I nearly fell over. I didn't fall over, but I nearly fell over.
thinking you were fated. <laughs> Did you see what happened then? No, I wasn't. Do you know last year you had an accident with Nev, didn't you? And somebody said that was my fault because someone fell off my bike. Yeah, it just seemed But it were, I don't think it were, but anyway. <laughs> you said 9.50. Yeah. I'm thinking, what's he on about? But you're on about departure time, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I got off my bike to try and help you. I fell off. <laughs> Well, at least we're not going to snag you off on the scooter now. I'm, I'm trapped between the uh, scooter and the concrete barrier. I'm all right. I'm OK. Don't, don't, don't show too much concern for me, really. No, I won't show any concern. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking, me and you, I'm stay out of well each other's way. I'm staying well away from you. <laughs> it just sprung to mind. I'm thinking, I'm going to ride that guy like the plague. You were on about departure time. Sorry? You were on about the departure time. Yeah, yeah. Have you put 950? I put in 950, but we'll all get on the same one. Yeah. So whichever one you Because uh, when you said that, I thought, is he looking for a reference number? No, no. So I've got my bit of paper now. We're going to come over to you. Off. Stay away from me, you bloody bastard. <laughs> not much trouble. You're not much trouble. I'm switching off for now.